All right, guys. All right, guys. I'm back with my WWE Raw review. Yes, I'm back with a video, guys. I know this is kind of a shocker to you guys, but I'm back to do a Raw review. I know I haven't done a Raw review in like uh, two weeks. I haven't done a video in a week. Um, I've had so much problems with this computer, like, I had so many threats and viruses, like, computer viruses with this, like, I, I just, uh, it had to just go into the computer, basically, um, it had to just get checked over and stuff and get rid of the viruses, but basically, I just couldn't get on any, like, shopping wise, like, when I was on Amazon or eBay, they would just basically shut down, like, just, we had total viruses on this computer, like, uh, but they've only clean now, and basically, I think basically, um, next time I, if this goes again, this computer, I'm just gonna get a new computer. But basically, I'm gonna go on to this last episode of Raw. So this this guys is my WWE Raw V40 12 for the first 2015. Um, I'm sorry guys, I didn't Raw last week. I, I was going to, but the other computer I have, which is a laptop, that doesn't work as well. So yeah. Not having good luck with the computers at the minute, but um, yeah, anyway, he's back. So, Raw this week, I thought it, this was a pretty good show. You had basically the WWE build up the main event for the Royal Rumble. You basically had them, uh, you had, um, they built up the Roman Reigns Big Show feud up a bit more, but I don't really care about that too much. I, I think right now, two is going into. Um, Royal Rumble, and we don't have many matches on the card, like, uh, Roman Reigns this is Big Show's probably going to be a match they're going to announce this week, um, obviously the Triple Threat match is getting built up pretty well, but, and the Roman match is going to be exciting, but apart from those three matches, uh, apart from the two matches I, I, I mentioned, like, the Rumble match and the main event, they're the only two matches I really care about, like, the, the rest of the show is going to be kind of like a bit of filler, but, that's about it. But anyway, Raw comes up this week with Cena coming out. He cuts a promo saying that at Royal Rumble, he's gonna beat Rollins. He's gonna uh, he's gonna beat Rollins and Lesnar and become WWE World Champion. Then he talks about how the Authority have ruined Raw, uh, Rowan, Ryback, and Dolph's lives because they've been fired and stuff. But he says he's gonna get uh, he's gonna fight for the jobs back anyway, and he's gonna fight ha no matter what. So tonight, um, t so Triple H comes out and says, well if you want to fight for the jobs, you're going to have a match tonight against Seth Rollins in a Lumberjack match that was next. So the first match tonight was Rollins versus Cena in a Lumberjack match. I don't really like lum uh, Lumberjack matches myself. I think they're very, like, I don't, I just, I, I hate Lumberjack matches. I, just my, just, I, I just hate them. But like I said, I thought this was a really good match. I think at any time Rollins and Cena have a, have a match, you, you know he's going to have a good match. There's a lot of back and forth. Uh, you had a lot of the Lumberjacks were really like heels, so obviously just going to attack Cena. Uh, and also they said Rollins. But basically, uh, Cena did dive on a few Lumberjacks outside. Then Cena gets back and tries to go for the STF on Rollins. But Rollins, uh, Kane tries to pull him in and um, see, you have Cena and Kane trying to do tug of war and stuff, that was kind of funny. Then um, Cena gets uh, thrown out of the ring, then Big Show hits him with a KO punch, then Big Show throws him back in the ring and Rollins gets, Rollins, get, uh, Rollins gets the win and that means uh, the three guys cannot come back, um, Dolph, Bry back and Rollins cannot get the drums back yet. Uh, then we get to a segment where Stephanie is talking to Usos and Dean Ambrose. She said, tells the Usos that they have a match tonight. Well, one of them has a match against the Miz. Then she tells Dean. Uh, then she tells Ambrose that um, he he's gonna ha have to see a counselor. Uh, gonna have to see a, uh, a therapist about his uh, about his issues and stuff. And then uh, the second match tonight, which was uh, the New Day versus. Yeah, Cesaro and Kid. Um, I think this is. Uh, so yeah, New Day versus. Uh, uh, yeah, New Day versus Kid and Cesaro. Oh, this was a decent match. Uh, the New Day win with a double tag team uh, finisher, where uh, Kofi and Xavier do like. Um, Xavier like hit say. Um, uh, was it like a bat drop or something? A uh, sidewalk slam and then Kofi so he drop kick. So yeah. Uh, yeah, so, anyway, uh, then the third, and then we get to a promo, Big Show talks about how he won the title from Hulk Hogan, uh, he talks about how he's been a giant, and he's gonna, 
you know, knock out Roman Reigns. Then Reigns comes out because a very bore, very cheap cartoon promo about how he's kind of like Jack and the Beanstalk, when he's climbing and climbing up this mountain, and uh, all this Beanstalk, and he's eventually gonna slay that giant. So and then Big Show, co then Big Show says that, then Big Show says tonight you're gonna face Luke Harper, and then the third match tonight is Harper versus Reigns. Um, decent match again. Reigns wins with a spear. After the match, Big Show knocks him out with a KO punch. Uh, then we get to the fifth, the fourth match tonight, which is Naomi versus Alicia Fox. Um, Naomi had one arm time behind her back. Um, this, you know what? This match, in my opinion, I thought it was a really boring match. I didn't really care about the match. Um, Alicia Fox wins with the scissor kicks. Then after the match, um, then after the match we have a anger management segment where Dean Ambrose and the doctor are looking at some pictures of like people at yeah, are pictures of the authority and, and Roman Reigns and stuff. Um, basically he calls Triple H um, uh, diarrhea and then he calls Kane Toothpaste, he calls Stephanie Ho and stuff like that. Uh, I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, then we get to another promo, which was Heyman. Heyman talks about Lesnar being uh, Lesnar be ending take his streak at Mania. Then he says that Lesnar's um, um, Lesnar's gonna conquer John Cena and Rollins at Royal Rumble. Uh, then we get to Daniel. Br oh yeah, then we get to a Macho, M and then we get to a Macho Man Hall of Fame video. So that is awesome, Macho Man. Ra uh, Macho Man Randy Savage is in the whole thing. Oh yeah, dig it. Yeah, the Macho Man Randy Savage is in the Hall of Fame, and that is awesome, guys. Like, I, I mean, it's been such a long time since the Macho Man Randy Savage. I mean, it's been such a long time. I mean, I've been wanting to see him in the Hall of Fame for like years, and I'm glad to see him in the Hall of Fame. Like, uh, I thought he was gonna go in maybe a couple of years ago, um, like maybe about two or three years ago, but. Uh, obviously not, but basically, I'm glad that he's in now. You know, in 2015, I uh, I heard that I, I heard that um, this interview. Like I think it was like last year, maybe the year before. The reason why he didn't want to call him by himself was because he wanted his all his brothers to get inducted as well with him. Um, but basically, um, there's there's a, uh, and also in the past there's been other rumors that Vince and also Macho Man had like backstage heat against each other or something like that I heard and then basically uh, I think also we know Hogan and Macho Man they've had their backstage cheat but basically um, a Hogan is going to induct Macho Man in that starting bar as well which I thought was pretty good uh, then we get to a promo Daniel Bryan talks about his win at Wrestlemania then he talks about basically he's going to win the Royal Rumble Stephanie comes out she calls out Kane Kane and Daniel Bryan do an awesome brawl we enjoyed that uh, then we get to the sixth match tonight, which was Bree versus Paige. Uh, Bree wins by a roll up, another boring Divas match. Uh, then we get to a Bray White promo, with basically Bray White because I, I missed his promo, so I, I can't really talk about his promo. I don't know who, I don't know who, like who's gonna feud with Bray White next. Like, um, who should he feud with next? Bray White. Like after now he's finished with Ambrose. Like who will he feud with next? Maybe Sting. I think only person. I think WWE. Uh, I think only person. That uh, Bray's gonna feud with now is probably Sting. Uh, I mean, I don't see anybody else he can feud. Maybe Undertaker, but the streak isn't there anymore, so I don't really know. But I think he's probably gonna be Sting versus Bray White WrestleMania. Uh, then we're gonna turn to the seventh match tonight, which is the Ascension versus two Jabras. The Ascension win easy. Uh, then we get to a segment where Ambrose uh, tells the Doctor to sign these papers. So, uh, so yeah. And then we get to the 85th night, which is Ambrose versus Rusev. I thought this is a really awesome. I thought this is a really great match. I thought Rusev did well in this match, but Ambrose did awesome as well. Uh, uh, one part of the match where um, Ambrose did a match on my elbow. I thought that was really awesome. Uh, then uh, and then um, I think kind of a weird ending here because you had like Ambrose was uh, hung up for the tree of wall spot and kind of like his legs, but like I don't know, like like he's selling. Uh, Gain her, uh, uh, it sound like an injury or something like that. Then the ref said he, he had to lose by fourth fit, so Rusev lose by fourth fit. So basically, I don't know how. Why, why is everybody booking Dean Ambrose like this? Like why, when it comes to his matches, they have like weird finishes. Dean Ambrose like last week, like 
I, I, I don't know a few times we've seen him like in weird finishes to matches, so I don't get that. But, I don't know. But yeah, after the match, Rusev kicks um, Ambrose in the face with a super kick. Then we get to the main event, which is a segment. It's a contract signing for the WWE World title. It's Lesnar, Cena, and Rollins. Basically, the three guys cut pros on each other, even even Lesnar. Heyman says that at, Wrestle, at Royal Rumble, um, Lesnar will conquer Rollins and Cena. He says that uh, he talk, Heyman talks about the plan, you know, with what they have with his authority and Rollins and stuff to keep, you know, John Cena away from Lesnar and stuff. Then basically, Rollins says that he's gonna uh, curse stomp. And then Rollins talks about that like, he's gonna um, win the WWE title at Royal Rumble. Then after that, Cena says he's gonna kick Lesnar and Rollins' his ass. Then the the three guys brawl. Then after that, uh, Cena AA's uh, Lesnar through the table. Then after that, Triple H distracts John Cena, so Cena gets hit with a curse stomp by um, Rollins. Then. Um, Lesnar to, uh, then Lesnar gets hit with a curse stop as well, and that was the end of Raw. So that, uh, and that was the end of Raw. I thought Raw had a good ending to it, and God, how they made the main event mean something. You know, the whole contract sign. I, I really enjoyed the concert, the contract sign. I thought that was really good. Um, I thought the Dean Ambrose and the Doctor segments were really good. You know, the whole the whole anger management thing was really good. Um, apart from those those things. I didn't really think Raw was that good this week. So that guys is my WWE Raw review for the 12th of the 5th, 2012 for the first 2015. What do you guys think of the show? Leave your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching guys. Brag out.